Have you ever heard that if your maternal grandfather went bald that you will too? Or what about the one where getting a scalp massage will send more blood to your head and cause your hair to grow back? Some people also claim that if you shave your hair, it will grow back even fuller than before. That is totally not true. I'm sorry to break it to you, all of these are bogus myths. As long as men have been losing their hair, they've been trying to figure out what causes baldness and how they can cure this sign of aging. In fact, it's estimated that 40 million Americans, that's men and women, are losing their hair. And all those people are spending more than $1 billion a year on everything from hair transplants to toupees and spray-on hair. Now hair, real hair, grows just under the skin on our heads from the close to 100,000 follicles there. This growth happens in three phases. The anagen phase, where it's growing, the catagen phase in between, and the telogen phase, where it betrays us and falls out. And hair falling out is totally normal. We should lose 50 to 100 hairs every day as part of the telogen cycle. But if more hair falls out than is replaced, you're probably balding. But hey, take comfort that you are not alone, my friends. By age 30, a quarter of all men have already started to lose their hair. What's weird is, why do humans go bald in the first place? I mean, baldness is actually pretty rare in other animals, and hair serves lots of important purposes. It protects our heads from sun, maintains our body heat when we're cold, and may even attract a mate. See this? I got this when I still had hair. Well, some researchers think it suggests a dominant status or sign of maturity in different societies. I mean, just think about all the amazing bald men in pop culture. Lex Luthor, Walter White, Ming the Merciless, Dr. Evil, Lord Voldemort. Hang on. I mean, they're not all villains, are they? I mean, uh, uh, Professor X. Got it. Ha. Huh. Or, or how about Jean-Luc Picard? I mean, lots of people say he's pretty hot. To understand baldness a little better, let's look at the different types that occur. First, the most common type is called androgenetic alopecia, otherwise known as male pattern baldness. It's related to our inherited genetic predisposition from both our parents. This affects how sensitive we are to a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, hereafter referred to as DHT for my sanity. Now for most guys, 5% of their testosterone is converted into DHT. If you're sensitive to DHT, it acts like a toxin on your hair follicles, producing thinner, weaker, almost colorless hair until hair production in the follicle simply stops. Researchers have found that male pattern baldness also causes men to have an abnormal amount of a protein lipid called prostaglandin. And in D2. Some dermatologists even think that men could regrow their hair if this inhibiting protein were removed. Other types of baldness include the female pattern baldness that occurs in some women post-menopause, an autoimmune disorder called alopecia areata, and a condition called telogen effluvium that makes your hair fall out faster than normal. People can also have brittle hair from hair shaft defects or, in rare cases, may even pull out their own hair compulsively if they have a disorder called trichotillomania. Think that sounds scary? You can also lose your hair from illnesses, fungal infections, burns, chemical applications, medications, and of course, cancer treatments like chemotherapy. Smoking is also reported to increase the risk of baldness. You should definitely see your doctor if your hair starts falling out in clumps or you get a burning, itching irritation on your scalp. But if you're simply a victim of the old male pattern baldness, I'd like to know how you deal with it. Do you shave your head like I do? Or have you tried one of the many treatments or cures out there. Let me know about your experience on BrainStuff's YouTube channel, Facebook page, or Twitter feed. And if you want to learn more about the bizarre but everyday things that happen to our bodies, check out our site at BrainStuffShow.com.